you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of living God, we thank you. Here we are, O oh Lord. Have your way this morning. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our lives. Spirit of living God, have your way in this place. Take control and take charge. Feel us, O oh Spirit of living God. We call unto you the person of the Holy Spirit in this place. We call unto you God of power, God of signs and wonders, God of miracles. We call unto you this moment. We open our hearts for you. Father, we thank you for this time like this. We are here in a Sunday service to be serviced by you, God. Service us. We surrender ourselves unto you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. I'm blessed also to be here. I appreciate you. May the God that keep you from day one, keep you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you. I thank God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that I'm here today in front of you. I don't take it for granted. The guardian of this altar my prophet, my mentor, my father, who work day and night to make sure the kingdom of God advance. Thank you so much, my prophet. Thank you so much, Daddy. The leadership of the ministry, I appreciate you. May the Lord use you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord locate you at the point of your need. Pastors, the evangelists, Every work of the ministry, may the Lord increase you. Thank you so much. In the mighty name of Jesus, I appreciate you, Mama. My spiritual mother, Mami Lungi, thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. People of God, before we sit down, um, can you take uh, the book of uh, Psalms 24 before we sit down? Uh, from verse 1 uh, to verse 6. Earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sown deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, lift up, O you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, may it dwell in our hearts. May you speak through it. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Children of God, I take the message from my heart. God seek us.
in verse 6. Such is the generation of those who inquire of him, who seek the face of the Lord of Jacob. Amen. Such is the generation. As you are sitting down, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I'm from that generation who seek from the Lord. As you are sitting down, tell your another neighbor, say neighbor, neighbor. I'm from that generation who seek from the Lord. Say neighbor, I am from that generation who seek from the Lord. Hallelujah. The best thing that you can do for your life is to seek God. The best favor you can do in your life, it is to seek God. Why? Many of us, we are seeking the things that doesn't benefit us. That doesn't benefit God. That, that doesn't benefit anyone. We seek things that would destroy our lives. We seek things that destroy uh, the world. Hallelujah. Many has gone for wickedness. Many have no mercy in their hearts because they are not seeking God. They are seeking things. If you spend the rest of your life seeking things, you spend the entire life with nothing. I will repeat my statement. If you spend the rest of your life seeking things, you spend your entire life having nothing. Because in those things that we seek, there's nothing. But the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all shall be added. All shall be added. What is all? Whatever you need, whatever you want, what is all? The marriage, what is all? The promotion, what is all? Your health, what is all? Your happiness, and what is all? Your joy, what is all? It shall be added, family. Seek first the kingdom of God. There are so many kingdoms, but the Bible is speaking about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. There are animal kingdom, there are water kingdom, but the Bible speaks about the kingdom of God. There are kingdoms that are here on earth that you are seeking that doesn't benefit us. People of God, I'm reminded by a certain man who was a beautiful get. That man was not a kingdom seeker. He was seeking for hands. He was seeking for food. He was seeking for money. Every beautiful get. While others, they are entering and worshiping God. He was seeking something else. Are you here today in the house of God? What are you seeking and what are you here for? I believe and I trust that today you are seeking God because if you seek God, you have it all. You have it all. That man every beautiful get. He was there for many years. But what was he seeking? I know you are, you are not well. You need healing. I know you are not well. You need deliverance. Your family is facing so many challenges. Financially, academically, you are facing so many challenges. I know. Things are not well with you. You want deliverance. Things are not going the way you want. But did you seek? First of God, first. Because the problem with us, we are not seeking.
living God. We seek the things of God and forget God of things. We seek the things of God. We forget the God of things. What are you here for? What are you here for? Are you here for the miracles of God? Not God. Are you here for the man of God? He's a man of God. If you want him to locate you, seek first his creator. So he will locate you. What are you here for? Are you here for the success? If you want success, seek first the creator of the success. Are you, what are you here for? Are you here for a marriage? In the beginning, God. God created that marriage. God created that breakthrough. God created that career. God created whatever. But the problem with us, we are not seeking God. We are seeking things of God. This is where the problem is. I'm here today to wake you up. Say family, go, go, kulu, brother, sister. Forget about the things of this world. You get lost along the way. Think about the creator of the things. Think about God himself. Hallelujah. Then this song which says, Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, creator of the seas. Yes, you are the Lord, the most high. Yes, you are the Lord, the most high. Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, creator of the heavens. Just 
over. Invest that energy to see God. What are you seeking? As you are here, you are seeking friendship in church. It's not taking you anywhere. Why are you here today? You are seeking to be loved by your neighbor. It's not going to take you anywhere. Why are you here? You are seeking to be loved by your boss. Is it going to take any, you anyway? No. But what you are supposed to do, you need to take everything to the hands of God. He is the creator, the beginning and the end. Genesis to Revelation. He knows anything about your life. Everything about your life. Don't be mistaken by what is around you. Don't be mistaken about what is happening in the world. Focus only to God. People of God, I believe today you agree in your heart that yes, you are the Lord. Sit down. There's something that is wrong in this generation. I believe I'm talking to the generation who seek God. Who seek the face of God. As I was telling you about that man and the beautiful get, He didn't want any, any, anything of God. He wanted so, silver and gold. But when he meets people of God, they said to him, silver and gold we don't have. What we have for you, it is the kingdom of God. What we have to you, we have the career of life. What we have for you, we have the transformer of destiny. Silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, we have the bread of life. What we have, we have the light of the life. Silver and gold we don't have. I come here to wake you up. By the power of Yeshua, I am sure. I trust you are waking up today and seek the kingdom of God. And all shall be added unto you. Some of you, you don't understand me. I want to leave you with a homework. When I was in school in primal, our teacher used to give us homework after, after our school. I want to leave the same homework to you. I want to say from today, family, go back home. Go back home. You are all over. You are all over having tape measure. Measuring the uh, people of God, all churches, measuring uh, the powerful and the weak, measuring the white and the black, measuring the fake and the genuine. But I want you to give, I want to give you the homework today. Go home and sit down and identify what makes you sit. Hallelujah. Things are not working in your life. You are not getting deliverance. Every time prophet is coming in your life, he's saying a word, but you are not changing. Every time prophet is declaring life, you are not receiving life. Every time we are given prayer points, the evangelists are coming and praying, leading you in prayers, but you are not transformed. You are not changing. My homework for you today, go back home and sit down and identify what makes you sit, what makes you not delivered, what makes you not getting breakthrough. Go down and sit home and identify what makes you sit. You are not rising while others are rising. You are not prospering while others are prospering. You are not receiving grace while others are receiving grace. Our people of God, go down at your home. Go and sit and identify what makes 
Say neighbor. Whom are you seeking? We seek power. We seek powers. What is beyond those powers? We seek men. Who is the owner of those men? We seek cars. Who's the owner of those cars? Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to make the work of my prophet so hard so that when I go to heaven I will get judged because every day the prophet is standing and speaking to us but we don't listen every time our prophet is bleeding and leading. He's building, leading us. Hoping one day will change. And we are not changing. We are seeking the things that doesn't benefit us in churches. We are seeking things that is not for the kingdom of God. We are seeking things for our benefit. In our own language, they say, we are born and got taller, look who was unborn. But as one army, you got one is what I do on what chance one in. But if you do it for the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God will benefit. Say, we are the generation that seek the things of God. We are the generation that seek the kingdom of God. Not the things of God. If you seek the things of God, people of God, without the God of things, we are not going anywhere. If someone can help me, Psalm 63. Psalm 63, verse 1. I said, I want to leave you with some of the warm works here. I know this is not, not the message that you want, but I believe the Lord of the message wants you to hear this message. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are here for you, not for your things. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 63. Oh, God. You are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. You are our God. We eagerly seek you. We eagerly seek you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jeremiah 29, verse 13 says, Seek me. Seek me. You will find me. God is available at any time. God is available at any time. People of God, God who created us is a God who's mighty. His love is endless. But he is a generous God. If you seek the car, it will give you headache because you can't put full tank on that car. If you seek the husband without the God of the husband, that husband will make sure I will 
will generate high blood pressure in your system. If you seek money without the God of money, that money will give you sleepless nights. People are not sleeping outside there. People are not happy outside there. Our God is a God of jealous. How do you seek him? You seek him in the altar of prayer. You call out to him. He will answer to you. I'm talking to the kingdom seekers. God seekers in this house. Am I talking to the right people in this house? People of God, I believe we are the right candidate for this kingdom. I want to pray for you today. If there are kingdom seekers, can I see you with standing up? I want to release a certain grace. You are not remaining the same. A prophet is put into your life for a reason, for a purpose. People of God, I want to tell you something. I seek God and something happened in my life. This is my life testimony. It is not a secret anymore. Anyway, if you have your own secret, keep it. But for mine, I'll share it for the glory of God. I seek God. Something happened in my life many years ago. When I was walking in the street of Luveve Road at a, um, High School, something huge happened in my life. People of God, I was coming from town. I saw this twin cab, a black car, hallelujah, with a sticker on the back of T.B. Joshua. We flashed that car. That lady stopped. Guess what? My father in the Lord, Prophet Isaac, found me in the street of Luveve. People of God, at that Mbopoma Aya, for many years, that's why I'm here today. Because first I seek the kingdom, and the kingdom released the men who can nurture me, mentor me, who can make me grow. When I meet my father, my life transformed, my life changed. If you see my face by then, people of God, I was picked by the roadway. I was a street lady, a street kid. But God picked me because if God wants to bless you, he sent his people for the kingdom to come and bless you, Baba. When God wants to transform your life, he sent a man, not just a man. He sent a prophet, not just a prophet. He sent the anointed, not just anointed. If that locates you, your life will change. Look at me now, standing in front of you. I am a living testimony. I am a living testimony.
You don't understand the state of my pocket. I don't care and I don't mind. What I know, I know the God of things. The God of marriages. By the power of Yeshua, I am sure. The power invested upon my father, my prophet, prophet Isaac. As I stand in this altar, I pray that that grace of seeking God may locate you. That grace may locate you. In that ministry, that God may it locate you. That grace, I pray that it will locate you. Be a kingdom seeker. Be a kingdom seeker. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus Christ. I don't know which department that you are serving in. Don't seek people's opinions. I don't know what you are doing in the ministry. I don't know what people are saying about your altar. I don't know what people are saying and I don't care. God cares. If you come in with the wrong theme, your things will sit. And you find other people like prophetess Gladys who were picked by the roadside going higher with the same grace and same anointing. Whom are you seeking? I pray that from today, as you are going home with your homework, go and sit down and identify what, your, what makes your miracle sit. Go and sit down and identify what makes you not prosper. Go and sit down. People of God, if you find God, your complexion changes. If you find God, your status change. If you find God, those red eyes will change. If people know you as a dwarf, they see you as a giant. Because you seek the God who lifts men. May you be lifted in this ministry today. In this ministry, may you be lifted. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Father, today I pray for them. As we are given the prophets in our midst, the guidance of this altar, Father, we pray as we are here, may this altar make us. In the mighty name of Jesus, may this altar transform us. We pray, O oh Lord, that today we understand that prophet Isaac is your servant. Father, we need you to speak to him so that we get transformed. Father, he is sent for this generation like this. This generation of God's seekers. The generation of kingdom seekers. We are that generation. Help us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Celebrate Master Jesus.